Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at Pharaoh's Palace here behind me. And then we're going to take a look at some changes I've made to the town center that I want to show you. And some things I will need your opinion on. So let's get right into it and go over here to the facade of Pharaoh's Palace. We've got the statues and the Sphinx Avenue that we showed uh, last time. And I've started to add the stairs that we worked on last time as well. Let's go inside. And I believe this is the first time I'll be showing the first courtyard of the palace. And here it is. Hmm. What do you think? Does it, does it make an impression? As you can see along the sides here, we've got a colonnaded portico surrounding the entire courtyard. And lots of blank space down here for, I'm not sure yet, more pavements and pools of water, obelisks, gardens, you know, the usual stuff. So let's go up the ramp here, guarded by the sphinxes and the statues of the pharaohs here. This will take us up to the next gateway. Let's take a look back down. And we'll go inside. And this you will probably recognize as the government center from Age of Empires. Uh, I've made it bigger and added some details. Uh, this is already up for download. But I have made some changes to the back of it. I've added on some things. So we'll go inside, past the courtyard, and it's got some more columns here tacked onto the back of it, which go to another set of pylons, and a pool of water here in this little atrium. Uh, just imagine this being filled with more plants and trees and everything around here, and especially out here to the sides. These are really blank right now. But I'm going to have some more side buildings, and I think I want very extensive gardens to surround the palace. If you have an idea for things that should be built inside of a palace, uh, let me know. I could use some ideas to add to my list of things that I want to build in here. So we will go through the next gateway here. I haven't added in the 3x3 uh, three three redstone gates yet, but this takes us to this um, large pillared hallway is what it is. It's sort of a hypo style, but not quite. It's a smaller version of the one we looked at in the temple yesterday. I think this is probably a good candidate for Pharaoh's throne room. But that could easily be for the next space that we're going to. This is the last space I've got in the palace here. It's still open to the sky, but I may add another, another chamber back here and copy and paste this and push it further back. I'll have to think about that. But there's nothing else to see back here. This is currently the end of it. And it's all very rough back here. You can see the white diorite line I laid out to get the center line of the space. Uh, that's something important to do in your builds, by the way. I found it very useful over the years to lay down a center line for all the builds I do. And that's something the ancients did as well when they would lay out their structures. They would always start with the center line. Or in this case it's also a line of symmetry because these buildings are the same on both sides. So since they are the same I'll show you these side courtyards I've got. I think I want to enclose more of these spaces back here especially over here and build out uh, apartments and residences and various things for 
you would have for the Pharaoh and his family and the staff that attends to him. Uh, this is all quite blank over here. So this is what I've got of Pharaoh's palace so far. It's just my first rough draft idea. This is all subject to change, but I'm pretty pleased with what I've got here. But now that we've looked at that, let's go see the changes I've made to the town center and do some work on it. So we're back here at the town center and we will land over here at the Stargate. And you can see it's got uh, all the chevrons lit up. And you'll probably notice that this is a different version from the last one I showed. It was a little small, I thought, and it didn't look around enough, so I made this one. Let me know what you think of it. I think it's better. I've just got the edges of the nether portal clipped out here. And I made it thicker so I could make it more circular here. And standing here, you can barely see the obsidian. I mean, you can see it, but you don't really notice it. Uh, also, something else I'm working on, we need some street lights in Egypt here. And this is a design I'm thinking about doing. It's got polished andesite, glowstone, and just the regular stone slab here. Uh, I'm not sure about the stone slab. I think it, it, it fits as long as it's paired with the polished diorite. And it's fairly close to the andesite here. Um, but let me know what you think about that. This is still, this is still a tentative design. Uh, I can't. I would just love to put sort of burning fire everywhere, but that would be that would be too much. Also, for the trees that I'm planning to put around here, that would be very flammable. So that wouldn't be a good idea. But as you can see, and as was rightly pointed out, when you come out of this portal here before you would have to go all the way over here across this little narrow gap to get out and up to the city and since this is going to be a high traffic area we just can't have that so to that end I have added some tunnels we've got one on either side uh, I'm thinking about adding these over here as well I don't know if that would be too much not sure about that but let's walk down here and see what I've got so far along the sides here you can see a new pattern I've come up with these are just random uh, one by four blocks stacked on top of each other to hopefully make it look like masonry but made with sort of random leftover blocks that they had around they just shoved in the wall and we've got granite uh, columns and lintels here uh, granite bedrock to support the granite uh, recesses up here with the glowstone to light up the tunnel and as you will probably suspect this empties out into the stairways that we worked on yesterday and after I looked at it I decided that uh, this should be the trim pattern we should just have it be one block down so it could mirror that quite nicely and what I did instead was it was clashing with the statue base so I moved it uh, in one and made it a little bit more narrow and along the sides here we just had plain granite but I put the standard uh, one of my standard patterns that I've got here on the wall I think it looks pretty good especially from a distance It looks suitably Egyptian, I think. And I've got some uh, random bits of uh, glowstone shoved in here to light it up at night. But what I want to work on today is, let's see if we can uh, finish up this tunnel down here. I've got some preliminary designs for things. I think I tried out putting this pattern and extending it down further here but it doesn't quite work 
I think what I want to do is put the four, uh, one by four block pattern down here. Which, let me go up here and give you a better view of that. Here is the pattern that I made. Uh, what do you think? Does it look too modern? Or is there... Is the obsidian in this just a little bit too high contrast? I'm not sure what to use instead of obsidian. Uh, if you have some ideas for additions to the block palette, let me know. So I'm going to think about this and do some work on it, and I'll be right back. Alright, let's take a look at what I've got here, see how it looks. I've completed the pattern and mirrored it and copied it on both sides. I think it looks okay, but I'm not, I'm not in love with it. I'm not sure. There's something about it. Let me know what you think of it. This is always subject to change though. I mean, it's a pretty easy area to change. There is space for some more tunnels in here. I haven't put any in though. I'm not sure where they're going to go to just yet, but there is space for it. And we've got that completed and mirrored on both sides here. So, I think that'll do for now. Um, for the street lights, there's another design I've come up with that I want you to look at. There's the one we looked at earlier. There's also this one. The only thing I don't like that it's it is three blocks tall, and I would really like it for to be a slab. But I I don't know. Let me know which of these two you think looks the best. And while we're over here in front of the temple, there is a new addition I put in that I want you to take a look at. It is a flagpole. I believe I talked in a previous episode how these um, recesses here were used to hold flagpoles, so I thought I would put one in and see how it looked. We've got our two-by-two two pole here at the bottom. And it's got some uh, bedrock clamps to hold it in part way up. And I've got a tentative flag design up here. This is a very old flag design I made. I probably need to make a new one, but it'll do for now just to see how it looks. I'm not sure if the flags work here or not, though. Let's uh, take a step back and look at that. Hmm. They could work. I, I just don't know. So let me know what you think about these flagpoles. I had an idea that uh, I could put a beacon down there and just have it shooting up there, but I use a lot of these pylons and that would be just beacons everywhere and I think it would be beacon overkill. So I don't think we'll do that. I have added some more foliage down here in this other thing to make it look more complete. And also over here at the town center where the Stargate is, I'm, I have an idea I want to run by you. I'm thinking that I can use one of these staircases and put it over here. Sort of around here. And it would go and connect. It would go underneath the water here and connect up over here. Not sure about that yet, but it's an idea I'm having. Uh, and I also changed the underwater pattern here just a little bit. I decided to put in some lapis here instead for the underwater material. 
I'm thinking about changing it to gold ore, possibly, instead of the lapis ore. I'll have to think about that. I've also started to replace the banding down here with bedrock instead of granite. Uh, looking at it before, it seemed like it was just a little bit too much granite in this area. It's still over here, so you can see how it did look before. See, there's an awful lot of red, it looks like, over here, and I think this complements it nicely. I'm also thinking about taking one of these staircases and putting it in up here, maybe. I'm not sure, because when you go through this processional way and you come down this area, you sort of hit this point and then you either have to go right or left. You can't go straight anymore because of the water. I've also added in some small statues over here with a little fire pot in between them. And I think if we go over here, we can see the flagpoles from a greater distance. I don't know. They don't look too bad. I'm not sure if they add or if they take away from the temple over there. Hmm. But I think this episode has gone on long enough today. So thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.